everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And I am so glad to have you here. And if you're interested in diamond painting, paper crafting, uh, planner videos, or DIYs or hauls, any of those things, go hit that subscribe button right now. And then you can join me for future videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So happy to have you here today. Hope you enjoy this one. So I have a little unboxing and it's from, well, I'll just show you that label, diamondart.ca. And this is for your diamond paintings. So let me see what I have here on my desktop that I can use. I'm just going to use my tweezers to zip down this tape line like I haven't opened this yet um I know what it is or what I know what it's supposed to be um I'm really excited to see it let's get these open and let's see what diamondart.ca so this is a diamond art painting um ordering site where you can get paintings shipped in Canada so for us that are paying you know uh, just terrible prices for let's get this box open this is a sturdy box guys this is really heavy and thick so let's see what they put in here so there's a welcome letter um, it says, should you discover an issue with your purchase, like missing drills, canvas, or glue problems, etc., do not hesitate to contact us. We will make it right. Oh, that's really good to know. And there is a invoice. So this was what I got. I got a picture of Cathedral Grove from Vancouver Island. It's 45 by 65 centimeters. It's got round drills. That's what I ordered. Um, they didn't have the square drills. The square drill one was sold out. I would have got the squares if they had it. Um, the reason that I ordered this is because this is one of my favorite places in Canada that I've been to while on holiday. So there's a little uh, instruction card on how to get started and what to do. So it says, unpack your canvas, your diamonds, and your tools. So that's what we'll do first. Unpack the canvas, the diamonds, and the tools. So let's get rid of this box. I'm just going to set it right there. I'm going to open this up. This is packed really nicely, actually, guys. And let's open it. This is... I got it stuck. Where is it? It's way up here still. I got the glue stuck to this on this side. So let's get that off of there. And look at the dark greens and the blacks and the grays. and the, This is going to be a dark painting for sure. Let's pop the drills out, set them right there. You get a drill tray, a chunk of wax, some baggies, and a pen. But you also get the three-place setter in this one as well. Throw that over there with my collection of drill trays. And there is a really clear and easy-to-read color list. Or, um, I just, th these are my directions as far as I'm concerned. So number one should be the number of the baggie. Number two is the symbol on the painting on the canvas. Number three is the DMC color number. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. I don't even think that you guys are going to be able to tell much what this looks like. Um, I can't even tell hardly what it looks like. You can kind of see it. It's, it's really not going to show up until the drills are on there. It really isn't. It's dark because Cathedral Grove, for people that haven't been there, it's a, I think it's a provincial park. Um, my son and daughter-in-law took me there when I went out on vacation when they were living out there. And you walk into those massive big redwood cedar trees that are as big around as a house. Um, you can see in here, like this is, I think this is one tree. This is a 
walkway so they have like wooden walkways through the forest and the forest is filled with these amazing emerald green beautiful beautiful trees so um yeah i wish you could see it better but it'll definitely be something that i'm working on so this comes from a collection on their website called Canadiana and I actually before they got sold out I actually went back and ordered three more paintings I ordered one from Peggy's Cove I've been there on holiday I ordered one from Hopewell Rocks I've been there well on holiday and I I ordered one from a place that I'd like to go, which is Newfoundland, and it is the picture of the jelly bean row houses. All really recognizable landmarks in Canada, and um, and I will go and see the row houses. We're close enough here that that will be like a, a three-day trip or something. We'll do the ferry across to Newfoundland, and we'll go see the row houses and what have you in St. John's. So um, that's the painting. These are the drills, and let's just take a, a peek at these and see what they look like. Um, yeah, let's open this. So it already has the number uh, of the painting on the outside and the size. I don't even have to mark this one. Um, I just have to count these drills out and put them back, and, or count the baggies, not all the drills. And I am going to put them back in here. Oh my goodness, and look at the baggies. Uh, they're all separate. They're not in a row. Isn't that something? That's the first time I've seen that. But let's take a look at these drills. I think you can see this color pretty good. Or should I grab a lighter one? I'm going to grab a lighter one to take a look. This is a smaller baggie. But look at these drills. They look really uniform in size. I don't see any trash. Like, I literally don't see any trash. The, I don't see a baggy number on these. These don't have a baggy number on them, guys. So these just have the DMC number on the baggy. So I'll have to match that up with the um, placement symbol on here to get them in the right spot, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to have to go through and tick these off one by one and make sure that I have all of them here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with 161 and I'll look for that. I'm just going to flip them all over so that the number is up and I can see them. Like look at the size of some of these baggies. So I guess that's why they do them like that. Some are, look at, look at the difference. Just look at the difference in the size of these baggies. So yeah. Um, so 161 is a gray color. So that's here. That's this color. 161. So I have that. And I'm going to put them back in as I count them out. As, as I, you know, as I find them. So 161. 310 is number two. And it's a dark color. So that's 310. And is there only one of these? Nope, there's two of these. Now it didn't come with an inventory list. I would have liked to have seen an inventory list with this. Um, and that, that would have been nice because I mean, do I know if there's two of these or more of these? So yeah, who knows? Um, but this is black. And then 317. It's a darker gray. That's right here. Darker grayish blue. So that one's there. And it's not full or a very big bag. So there's probably only one. And 318 is a lighter gray color. That's this color. It's a very small little bag. There's hardly anything in here. And I'm just going to continue going down through these and, and see that I have my count. And I will be right back.
So I've checked all of these drills and they look really nice. Really, really nice. Now there are no um, AB drills in here. The Aurora Borealis drills. There's none of those extra shiny ones in here. They all look like regular drills. They are absolutely wonderfully shaped. They all seem to be like um, sized the same size. They, I mean, all the drills, the drill bags, the drills look like they're the same size. So that's a bonus. And um, there doesn't seem to be hardly any trash in the bags, which is really, really good. And I can't wait to get this done. I can't wait to get the set of all of the four Canadian landmarks done and framed and up on a wall where they're going to look just amazing as a display. Um, as a Canadian, I think that's something that I will really enjoy having in my house. And what's really amazing for me is that not many companies will um, offer Canadian content for specific crafting items. When people make stickers, we don't traditionally get very many companies that will send out Canada Day stickers or, um, um, uh, you know, Canada flags, Canadian landmarks, uh, just, you know, Canadian stuff in general. Although there are so, like, we, we don't get a lot of stuff, you know, with the, uh, Canadian maple leaf, um, theme happening or um i think you guys know what i'm getting at so yeah to have a company that has even a section of canadiana um you know canadiana themed pictures is really really amazing just amazing so a big shout out of thanks to diamond art ca for getting this here in it took about a week guys that's a really really short time so you know a week from now or shortly after i should be doing the unboxing of the other three paintings and yeah i can't wait to show them to you these are going to be fabulous i'll probably be doing a lot of um work in progress chit chats while I'm working on this because it's going to take a while to get four of these done and I have a few other paintings that I want to give this year as gifts as well so if I can have these done by the end of next year I'll be really really happy and uh, yeah can't wait can't wait anyway if you like these unboxings for the diamond paintings and the information about where they come from and what kind of shape they're in and stuff like that let me know in the comments down below and I'll keep on doing them um, but in the meantime go get your painting go get your drills your lights set yourself up with a good cup of coffee and have a relaxing time while you're drilling on your painting so bye bye for now everybody hit the subscribe button before you leave and i will see you all in the next video love you guys bye